right, Richard, what do you got for me today? A little bit of science. I thought we would take a minute to talk about siphons. Okay. Uh, you're going to need a siphon. If you say, say you wanted to get the water from this tank to a lower point and you didn't have a pump. Mm -hmm. So if I had a pool or a fuel tank or something, I would need the presence of a short leg and a long leg. Now that means if I had a little short leg of tubing here Coming up from the back and bucket. then the longer one down here, what would happen is once I got the water up the short leg, the weight of water in the longer leg would pull that bucket completely empty. More water here, more weight here. Correct. It starts to pull down on that. So let me just show you an example here. I'll fill this with water. And this is the key to a siphon, right? You got to actually have this water completely mm -hmm. filled in the tube. So now, here it is here. Now watch what happens. Wow, look at that. So, is that something? I mean, it's just literally just flowing all by itself. It's kind of crazy. I mean, no pump, no nothing. Yeah. It's just working. Right. So it's really a handy thing to know about because uh, you don't always have a pump and you don't have one that works quite often. Now that will keep on going until it goes empty or I break the vacuum. So watch this. So as soon as that pops out and you get air in the tube, everything stops. stops. If I couldn't put my finger over the hose, I could also do this. This is what you see in movies when guys are trying to take gas out of a gas tank. Right. <laughs> <laughs> I never did that. I never did that ever in my life. <laughs> but there it is. I mean, it's still just flowing. It's as if it's being pumped. That's right. Right. Good. So. Everybody uses the basic siphon principle multiple times a day because that is the principle that makes the basic toilet work. So if this is the cutaway of a to toilet bowl, the water level normally sits right here. Mm -hmm. If you look right here, this piece inside the china is the short leg. The short length here. Right. Water is right to this level. And then right here from this point on is the long leg. So the length, the curves make it almost twice as long as right. this. So if I can get the water level to come up and fill up this point over the top, I will start the siphon. And you're a plumber, so you're going to put your lips down here. And <laughs> no, pull. I'm not. <laughs> so the tank is right here. When you flush the tank, water comes down into this flush rim. You see it right here? Yep. The water also comes out through here, but it also comes down inside the bowl to this little hole right here called a siphon jet. Mm -hmm. And that jet pushes water, where's it go? Right up that short leg. Yeah. And so if it does, it then fills this spot right here, your siphon begins. And now it'll keep pulling up the short leg, down the long leg, until that water level drops and that air comes behind and vacuum is achieved. So long as it gets up over this hill and it's full water here to create that vacuum, you're good to go. It'll just keep going. Absolutely. It'll keep going until the empties. bowl is empty. And as you say, it's kind of marvelous because there's no pump, there's no electricity, and it does it time and time again, day after day. It's one of the greatest inventions ever, says the plumber. Absolutely. So you can also use this siphon principle to make a toilet flush, even if the water was off in the house temporarily, as long as you had a bucket of water. Mm -hmm. Because if I poured, say the bowl had to be evacuated, and I pour it in, watch what happens. Look at that. And there it goes. Just flushes itself. Absolutely. It's really cool. Thank you, Mr. Science. Thank you. Thanks for watching. This Old House has got a video for just about every home improvement project, so be sure to check out the others. And if you like what you see, click on the subscribe button. Make sure that you get our newest videos right in your feed.